Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do today's daily challenge, lead code 904, fruit into baskets. So basically we're given an array of fruits where each element in the array represents the type of fruit produced by the ith tree, right? So the first tree produces fruit one, second tree produces fruit two, and so on. And the catch is that you only have two baskets, right? So we can start picking fruits from anywhere in the array. And we only have two baskets, right? And each basket can only hold a single type of fruit. So we can start picking anywhere from left to right. And we have to return the maximum number of fruits we can pick. So for example, here, if we start picking in fruit one, we can put the type one in basket one, type two in basket two, and then this one, we can still pick it because we have basket one with type one, so we can pick all three. Over here, we can either pick zero and one because we only have two baskets, or we can pick one, two, two, because we can pick one in basket one, and then we can pick type two in basket two, and since this is the same type, it can also go to basket two. So we can pick, again, maximum of three fruits. And similarly in this one, our best way is to do this, where we pick two, three, two, two, because that way we have one basket of type two and another basket of type three, and we can pick then four fruits. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? We'll basically use a sliding window technique, and let me just get it out so you can see how this will look like. So basically, you know, we'll start from the start of the array and we'll maintain our sliding window. And basically our sliding window will just be okay, so far, right, what, what is the, our key will be the type of fruit, right? And the value will be the last index where we saw this fruit, right? And we'll come later on why this is useful. But basically this map size cannot exceed two, right? So the max size of this map has to be two, right? And let's see what, how we'll populate this map. So in the first time we we'll see index zero, sorry, type zero, and we say that, okay, we saw it at index zero, right? So the map is still not exceeded two, so we're still fine. And so far we've able to incorporate a window of one, right? The next we'll see, okay, the type is one, and the index we saw it is one. So that's all good, and our window now extends to two elements, right? And the map is still under two elements so that's good because we only have two baskets remember the next time we see again type one we already have type one in the map so we'll just update instead of one we'll update the index to two right because now we've included this index and the map size is still two so we go ahead and extend the window now so again our window size went from initially to one right because we only had zero and then we change it to two after inserting the second index, and then we changed it to three after in inserting the third index. And so now when we insert the fourth index, our map size is going to exceed two, right? So we can't have, we can't have four in this map, so we have to remove something. So since the previous one is one, right? We need to remove, we need to update our window start to the, the, the index of the other one, right, not one, because we can still start our window here. So the index of the other one plus one will be where we have to update our window. So basically the index of zero is zero, right? Since, since the previous one is one, we look for the other one, which is zero. And since the index of zero is zero, we do zero plus one. So now instead of the window starting here, we update it now to start here, right? And and then we remove this element. So we go in and remove this one and we're going to add four at index three, right? So now our window is going to be this one, right? And it's still size three, right? Then we continue. So the next is erase this and update the value to four, right? And so then our window size, this is our new window start, remember? So our window size now becomes four right? So instead of three, it's four, right? And then now we see three, which cannot fit in our map because we can only have two elements in our map. 
So then we see, okay, the, what's the previous one? The previous one is four, right? So if the previous one is four, what's the other one? The other one is one. And the other one's index is two plus one. So now two plus one is three. That means we update now our new window to here, right? And so, and we remove this one, right? So we remove index one. And then we can insert index, sorry, type three, right? Saying this is at index five, right? And so then the window becomes like this, right? From this to the three. And the size then becomes three again of the current window, right? And so you can get the pattern. We'll continue doing this and then Remember, we'll have our current window size as a variable. So what we'll do is as we compute these sizes on each iteration, we'll take the max of all of these sizes and that will be our answer. So in this case, the max size we'll ever see is four. So that max will be the maximum fruits we can pick. Basically it says, you know, use, you use this window start up to this one and that's how you can pick the maximum elements if you can only pick two, right? So I hope this was clear enough. Let's go ahead and code the solution. So first things first, let's have our map of integer to integer, which will be this map we showed earlier that will be type to index. We'll set this equal to a new hash map. Then a couple of other variables we need to keep track of is our max so far, we'll just set that to zero. And we also need to keep track of our window start. So now we're going to create a loop that loops through the fruits. So here's our loop and I've captured the current fruit at i and set that equal to fruit type. So now what we'll do is at the end again of the loop, what we'll do is compute our current window and update our max, right? So our current window will be based just i minus window start, right? And our initial window start has to be zero, right? So we'll, um, compute the current window. And obviously if we remove anything from the map, we'll update that over here. And we'll set our max equal to the max of the max window and the current window. And I'll just update this max to say max window. And obviously at the end, we'll return max window. So what do we do over here, right? So over here, obviously I think first we'll say if we need to remove something from the map, we'll go ahead and remove it and update our window start, right? And then in every case, we need to insert the current fruit type. So we'll say type to index dot put fruit type and I, because that's the current fruit type and then I is the index that we saw it in. And you know, this always happens, right? So now the only thing we need to do is check if we need to remove something. So in the, the cases where we don't need to remove, right? So we just say not, don't need to remove, right? So what are the cases we don't need to remove? Because that's a bit easier to think about. So we don't need to remove if the type to index already contains the fruit type, right? So if it's already there, then that means inserting it won't make it grow, right? So that means we don't need to remove anything. So if it already contains the fruit type or right? Or if the length of type to index, the size is less than two, right? That means, you know, even if we insert something, it will not exceed two, then we're fine, right? So in that case, we don't need to remove it. And if we do the not, that means we need to remove something, right? So first we need to find what to remove. So if you remember from the algorithm earlier, we look at what the previous one is and find the other one. Right, so I'll just say int other type is equal to, we'll just go through the keys of type to index. And anyway, the max of this can just be two, so this will be really quick. So we'll say type to index key set stream, filter type, type not equal to previous type. So the previous type will be just fruits at i minus one. And since the size of this has to be at least two, we know that it will definitely exist, right? So the type, if the type is not equal to the previous type, that's the one we want. And we'll just do find first get, right? So that will be the other type. And this 
is the type we need to remove, right? So we'll just say type to index dot remove other type. We also need to update our window start, right? So our updated window start, right, will be equal to the type, the index of that other type that we're removing, right, plus one, because that's the next one. And that, that will be, this has to be done before we remove it so that we can still get the index, right? And once we update our window start, this will just work seamlessly. So I think this will work. Let's run it and see how it does. All right, this has to be contains key. All right, it looks like it has a problem with this. So I'll just create a previous type here, assign that to this thing over here. All right, the other bug here is the current window. We have to add one, right, because it's inclusive. I and Windows Start are both included, so we add one. All right, now accepted, let's submit. Perfect, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, cheers.